Big thanks to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, friends. I'm a mom now and I have so much to tell you. <laughs> but first, I have to take a shower, so let's go do that. Like, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. It feels good to just whip my camera out and try creating again because, yeah, it's been a while and I'm like officially coming out of maternity leave. So sometimes I look back at my YouTube and I'm like, how the heck did I make all those videos? It feels like I'm starting over, which I'm not. I've only been gone for a couple months, but life is just so different, but also it's the same. I don't know how to explain it. I feel internally like my heart feels changed. That's cheesy, I don't know. But that's kind of, that's the best way I can describe it. Say hi to Clover. Clover. Good, mo good morning, good morning. You haven't seen Luna in a while either. Hi Looney, hi Looney. I got my Thrive Market box, which I have been dying to open because I have almond milk in there. I got my Go Macro bars, lots of things. So here we are. Wait a second. This is actually pretty heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've got this, it's fine. It's fine. By the way, I am two months postpartum. I have been cleared to exercise and lift heavy things. Don't judge my form. I have been a subscriber of Thrive Market for a couple years now. It's my favorite place to get healthy organic snacks. So I'm just gonna do a quick little haul. I got Simple Mills cheddar crackers, which is like a healthier Cheez-It. These are really good with grapes. I don't know why, I just chomps. Organic oat flour. My favorite gluten-free pancake mix. You just add water, oats. Tons of Go Macro bars. I am exclusively breastfeeding and I, I'm just a bottomless pit. This is the oatmeal chocolate chip, which is my favorite. You may frequently see me eating these at 2 a.m. while I'm feeding my daughter. More Simple Mills. This is Andrew's favorite trail mix. Got this salt and stone deodorant. I didn't put deodorant on yet, so actually I want to try this. Let's try it right now. Oh, smells, smells like a very nice store. I'll report back if this works. Besides snacks, you can also get skincare, bath stuff, chapstick, jelly, coconut aminos. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of space here. I love Thrive Market's organic chicken bone broth and what I've been waiting for, organic almond milk. So that's what I got from Thrive Market. They have an app that you can download, which makes it really easy. And on this order, I saved $73.29, which is Great. If you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jules Acre, you'll get 30% off your first order and you'll get a free gift up to $60. Let's go make matcha. Also, Kira's awake, so I'm gonna grab her real quick. Are you ready to go for a walk? Okay. Get the knit, the pink knit outfit. Oh, you got a pee pee diaper. Cutie. <laughs> Her little snortiness. Oh, this is so cute. We gotta send a picture to Auntie Petra. I love dressing her up every day. Cutie. You're so pretty. You're so cute. Okay, it's matcha time. Grab my hand. Oh, it's so strong. So strong. Look at her cute little pink outfit. I'm gonna make matcha, so I'm gonna give you back to dad. Look. 
Kira had breakfast, but not mommy. So I am going to make a ham and cheese croissant, which has been my pregnancy craving. And apparently I'm still going strong postpartum with the ham and cheese. So let's make some breakfast. Baby girl is crying, so I'm going to wear her. She sleeps very deeply when she's in her Solly wrap. Oh, you're happy now. <laughs> you're smiling now. I burnt my croissant, which is just a part of life. I try to scrape it off. I finally have a minute to sit down and chat with you all. I honestly don't even know what to say. I feel like I've lived so many lifetimes since my last video and I really just wanna catch you up, but TLDR, I'm doing so much better than I thought I would be postpartum. I really didn't know what to expect about the postpartum experience and everyone's experience is different. Everyone's baby is different, but I feel really, really lucky because it's been pretty positive. Um, the first two weeks were definitely the hardest because you're just kind of, thrown into it, you have to figure it out. Your body is like, what is going on? Everything went smoothly um, with her exit, but I did tear internally. So my perineum is intact, which is good. Everything just feels inside out down there. And so I couldn't sit down for, I didn't even try sitting in a chair for the first week and a half, I would say. So I was sitting in bed on a donut pillow or I would like have a mountain of pillows to cushion on each butt cheek and just leave like a little hole for, yeah, for down there. Anyways, I feel like that was for me, one of the most challenging parts was like trying to learn how to breastfeed while being in pain. You know, your body is just adjusting to all these things and you're trying to care for this little one and you're just kind of thrown into it. So that is for me why the first two weeks is the hardest. I'm feeling good. I am feeling ready to start dipping my toes back in work, but I'll be honest, like it's hard to, to find the motivation to work when I really just want to spend all of my time with Kira. Like I miss her when I'm not with her. And that's like, I'm literally, I've only been away from her for like an hour or two max. Like when I feel like I'm focused on a work task, say she's with Andrew or maybe she's like taking a nap, I genuinely miss her and just want to get through my task as soon as possible. It's just weird. Priorities are shifting. So this is just me kind of sharing my rambly thoughts. Honestly, like I feel so, I feel like I'm, I'm having a hard time even just figuring out how to express myself creatively again. The center of my world has like shifted and it's such a crazy, beautiful, cool thing. And I didn't grow up dreaming of becoming a mom. Like for many years, I didn't even know if that's what I wanted. And then just kind of one day it hit me that, yeah, I do want to become a mom and I want to raise a child and so anyways that's a whole other topic but the entire journey from being pregnant to giving birth to now holding her in my arms it's just like such a crazy feeling and it's like I was always meant to be her mom and I feel like I'm doing a great job I'm really proud of myself for like my just instincts kicking in I've just been doing what feels right and it's just kind of crazy how how it just clicks. It really does. I went into this knowing nothing. Motherhood is learned on the job. It's been really fun. It's like everything got more colorful. Since we're not really on our computers much, Andrew's on paternity leave. He goes back in about a month. No, no. He actually goes back in like two weeks, which is really sad. Anyways, we have this whiteboard that we've been writing our to-do list and it's just kind of been easy and nice for us. But today we are going to reset the home. I'm going to wash all of Kira's things and then Andrew's going to take over and wash sheets and towels. So we've just been tag teaming it, taking turns with her during her wake windows. Although I like always love to be around during her wake windows because she's doing such cool things. She was holding onto a rattle and when it I understand now why moms often just talk about their babies all day because 
We literally made them from scratch and it's the coolest thing and you're proud of it and you just want to share it. But I will um, stop myself now so we can get to our to-do list. We do not bother separating the lights and the darks when it comes to her baby clothes because it's just too much. We do whatever is easiest. <laughs> if you ever have a stain, this, this stuff works so well. We have gotten out all of her blowout stains. I'm gonna use it on her car seat because yeah, she blew out in her car seat. <laughs> this is like the second time. But we have always gotten the stains out, so I highly recommend. Clover, I just want to make sure you weren't under the bed. Hi, Luna. Haven't seen my office in a while, but I actually did get some work done a couple days ago. And I just have to say, I really miss being in here. But when I get work done, it's usually during her nap time. Typically, I am wearing her. But today, I had to focus on cleaning up the house and resetting things, so I don't really have time for computer stuff right now, maybe later in the day. An update, this sandstone deodorant seems to be working, because I went on an hour walk this morning, and I've just been around the house cleaning, kind of getting hot wearing this, so, um, so far so good. I am gonna go and play with this little one. Her wake windows are really fun because she's doing a lot of new things that she wasn't doing like a week ago. It's crazy how much they grow and change. And I wanna be there for that. So I'm gonna go, but thanks for tuning in for my first vlog back. Let me know what you'd like to see more of and thanks for being here and for supporting me. I am looking forward to making more videos. See you all in the next one. Bye. Oh. Wow, her whole chest is up right now. Wow, Kira, wow. Look at that neck strength. She didn't like to be in it for too long, but that was a good one. Wow, Kiwi, do you like what you see? Who is that beautiful girl? Who is that beautiful girl? You can do it.